Hi guys and welcome to today's video where I talk to you a bit more about two different athletes that come out in the public eye. This time they're not just normal athletes, these are winter athletes. So they're out and proud and gay and perform winter sports instead of your normal types of football, rugby or stuff like that. So do stick around to find a bit more about them and then also stick around to the end to find out what's coming up in my next video. Welcome to my channel, if this is your first time then my name's Doug, this is where I talk to you about being queer and sport and how the two link into the 21st century. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe down below because it does help me out with the algorithm and stuff and resharing it through YouTube. So do give it a like right now um, before we get into the video. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Let's get into it. Like I said before, this channel is more about like different types of sports and every sport out there and showing the representation that the LGBTQ have. So back in 2018 when we had the Winter Olympics, I did watch the Winter Olympics with a passion as obviously I have a passion for all things sports and myself I've tried skiing and snowboarding so obviously watching and then coming across these two particular athletes was really cool. Two athletes that I'm talking about are Gus Kenworthy, I think that's how you say it, and Adam Ribbon. Um, so these two both represented the USA back in 2018. Um, obviously now Gus has transferred over to the UK because his, his mother or his father, one of the two, in, and he was born in the UK. So I'm not here to talk about that, I'm here to talk about them representing the queer community. And So back in 2018, the reason that I came across them was when uh, Gus posted a picture and tweeted saying, we're here, we're queer, get used to it, on his Twitter. It was to the defiance of Mike Penance. Um, and obviously to the light of showing his representation for the LGBT community in the winter sports at the time. A bit more about Gus. Um, so he came out in after the 2014 Winter Olympics in 2015. So in 2014, he wasn't out at all and represented the USA in Sochi. But the year later in an interview with the ESPN, he came out um, obviously fully out and proud. He was one of the first free action sports stars to do so and obviously rep making a trend in more and more people to come out in in winter sports. Another highlight in the 2018 Winter Olympics was when Gus kissed his boyfriend before the qualifying run for the slopes, men's slope start. This kiss was broadcasted all over the TV in America and all over the world. It's a significant highlight for the visibility of LGBT people in, in winter sports. A little bit more about Adam. So Adam has always been skating since he was 10 and obviously has progressed through his career. He also came out in 2015, again in an interview, as most people do come out if they're in the public eye, like big sports figures. But he represented the USA in 2018 as a, one of three male figure skaters and was the first openly gay man to receive a medal. So looking back at it now, obviously seeing both of them and how they bonded over both being part of the same community, it was really great. And what it's what I'd want to try, obviously, express over my channel and get everyone involved, whether it's different sports like obviously like the winter sports or rugby or football like I've talked about before. I want to show the people that one, one sport is for everyone, two you're not alone, three you're always bond of having that same connection of being part of the LGBT community, four if you join sports you're always going to make new friends and five it's your life you need to live it. I say this end one you need to live it it's your life because for example the situation with Gus was in 2014, he wasn't out, but still wanted to represent sports and felt like it wasn't the right time to come out. But in 2015, he came out and obviously feels better for it in all of the interviews that I've watched. Obviously, at the end of the day, he had to hide who he was and that's not right. You need to live your life and be you. Obviously, both being in the public eye, they have a political stance. There's a big uproar in America when they both skipped the reception after the Winter Games in 2018. Both skipped the reception because they didn't agree with the people in charge of America at the time and wanted to create those conversations with the media and with other people and to support the LGBT charities. For example, Gus uses his standpoint when he wore the hat Make America Gay Again in one of his interviews and when, and when Adam was interviewed he said about not wanting to meet Mike Pence because it was the same Mike Pence that funded gay conversion therapy. Again, I want, I want to reiterate, I want to talk about winter sports, showing you that there's different sports out there that for LGBT. Uh, everyone's, everyone can play sports, no matter who you are, what you are, what you are, no matter who you are. And uh, it's for those people that, obviously, if they wanted to get into winter sports and not sure about it, 
thinking that they'll be the only person but there is other celebrities there is celebrities that are out and proud and there is other people out in the world so you're not alone so as I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to tell you a bit more what's coming up in my next video. So the next video is going back to the sport that I love, um, and that's rugby. I'm going to talk to you about my IGR club that I play for at the moment. The things I will include, when they were formed, what leagues we play in currently, so the types of players that you can find at a club like mine, um, and then why I play for an inclusive team and not a straight team or a local team. Because I live in Milton Keynes, but I play out of Northampton. So that's all the content for today. Again, don't forget to like my video because it does help me out with resharing and the algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe and push that bell notification for my next video. Thank you for watching and see you later.